COVID-19 infection rate in Jamaica. 94 additional COVID-19 cases, 5 more fatalities. Jamaica on Saturday recorded 94 additional positive from the infection, moving the tally to over 127,610 cases. Of the new cases, 50 are women and 40 are men with ages ranging from 2 days to 95 years old. A total of 1,597 tests were conducted. The country's positivity rate has moved to 8.7%. COVID parish breakdown. Kingston and St. Andrew, 24. St. James, 18. St. Catherine, 16. Westmoreland, 11. Clarendon 5, St. Anne 4, St. Elizabeth 4, Portland 3, Trelawney 2, Anova 2, Manchester 2, St. Thomas 1, and St. Mary have recorded no COVID case. Meanwhile, five more fatalities have been recorded, increasing the tally to 2,784. The Ministry of Health indicate that the death occurred between October 2021 and February 2022. One more finally has been recorded as the coincidental death, pushing that tally to 222. And seven additional deaths are under investigation, moving the figure to 418. In the meantime, there were 263 more recoveries, increasing the tally to 675,103. Some 199 persons are in hospital, with 46 being mandatorily ill, 22 severely ill, and 4 critically ill, and 12,952 persons are at home in quarantine. So there you have it for the breakdown of the pandemic itself. Viewers, we are going to touch upon that one here, but we have to touch upon that one here with caution. Bizarre murder of a woman, multiple gunshot wounds, a slashed throat, and a plucked out eye. That's the last image of the 54-year-old father now as of his daughter after police described to him the state of her body, which was found in bushes last Thursday. The woman, 30-year-old Leonia Kimi Thomas, a driver, driver employed to Grace Kennedy Limited, was taken out early Wednesday morning while making delivery in a close proximity to her home in Windsor Heights of Windsor Road in St. Catherine. Strongly, it is an incident that reminds low-key as far as the package goes. I can't sleep every time my eyes shut. It come like me a CR. I jump out of my sleep and the police them tell me me and my son. We went down to the station and talked to them. Her throat was slashed, her hide them dig out, and she get a whole heap of can up. 
and them threw her in a bush. The distressed man told the news. Me have all blood pressure and sugar and me na tell no lie. Me want it lick me down. Me feel weak. Me no hundred right now. Me under pressure right now. A two night now me no sleep. Me head a hurt me. He continued. Thomas' body was found along Windsor Drive in Windsor Heights while being informed about the state of his daughter. Body, the man told Sunday News that the police officer had to console him. The police then offered all on upon me. Me no know something wrong, he said. Police source from the St. Catherine South Police Division told the Sunday News that it seems Thomas didn't make it home. On Wednesday morning, the truck she was driving was discovered stripped of all the goods on the main road. This was a little distance away from her, her house. The body was dumped. Since the start of the year, 15 and 18 shootings were recorded in that division. Thomas' younger brother said he doesn't know how to respond at this time. I don't even know what to say, to be honest. She's a girl that I'm sure now got trouble nobody. She's a jovial and stuff like that. I don't know what to say, he told the news. Moreover, he inquired as why the family hasn't been able to identify body as yet. The police said they are going to do some investigation and then we will be able to identify the body. How long does it take for them to do their investigation? He questioned. Devastrat, the father said, he found out about his daughter a day later in most at breaking way. His phone rang Thursday evening and he answered. A family member then asked him, a true sec image about hitting him off guard and sending him into a wave of emotion. Why you mean Kimmy Japot? He responds. He said that was the spurred him to anger the police. The man told the news that when the police officer took him and his son to Thomas home, the front door was locked. Her roommate was then alerted and she gave the the access to the house inside they discovered a washing machine was stolen from the house along with chicken that was left in the refrigerator and other items it is a suspected that criminals gain access to the house after taking a key from her body and after ramstacking through the house they locked the door and left with the key last friday night thomas roommate was accompanied by a guardsman personnel to the area to collect her belongings to go elsewhere because the home was deemed unsafe as investigation continued. The woman who was referred to as Thomas' sister told the news, We were living together. I don't know anything. The police don't give us no information and them not talk to we all know. They said they would call us and we are awaiting the call. Before she could continue, she broke down and said she couldn't speak on the incident anymore. Thomas' aunt told the news that she was distraught up to Saturday night when contacted. She said was unable for what happened she's supposed to do a delivery she said i honestly don't remember the last time i talked to her my head can't recall nothing right now i am out of it meanwhile thomas father that i was in a meeting when i heard that one of our truck drivers was taken out somewhere in central village and the goods stolen from the truck I am really concerned about it. Welby said there are some sensitive issues that can't be disclosed regarding the incident. However, he said all our trucks have a panic button 
on them and it is not clear to us at this time whether the panic button was pressed or not which is a big issue for the company some of us on a year for myself you know many people have heard this news before but trust me the news is shocking the picture is hard to look at but just leave some comments down below in the comment section